Welcome back. Today's story is Froggy's Halloween, written by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rimkiewicz. For Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up, and he wondered. What should I be for Halloween? I know," cried Froggy. "Super Frog, flying high over the city, faster than a dragonfly, stronger than a bullfrog." No, something spooky. I know. Cried Froggy. Ghost Frog. He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. Ooh! <laughs> no, something scarier. I know. Cried Froggy. Vampire Frog. He put on his black cape. Swish. Put on his mom's black tight. Zoop. Put on his slick black wig. Zap. And said, in his best Dracula voice, "Three good three. Smell my feet." Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your. <gasps> Froggy called his mother. Why? Halloween's not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, dear. I'm Count von Frogula," said Froggy. "Vampire frogs don't do homework." Froggy's mother laughed. <laughs> Vampire half fangs," she said. "You're a toothless wonder." <laughs> Oops! <laughs> cried Froggy. Covering his mouth. So, all week at school, Froggy wondered, "What should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie?" Froggy cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. Why? Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. Hmm. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school, he got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spider webs all over the front of the house. He hung his mother's sheet like a ghost in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat! Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your. <gasps> At last, it was the night before Halloween, and all through the house, there were creaking sounds and scratching sounds. Froggy was scared. He shivered in bed, and imagined ghosts and goblins, and werewolves and witches. Witches? Zap! I know. Cried Froggy. I'll be the Frog Prince for Halloween. <laughs> and in the morning, he put on his black cape. Swoosh. He pulled on his mom's black tights. Zoop. Put on his slick black wig. Zap. 
plunk on a gold crown. Zoom! And flashed his mighty sword. Ta da! At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute, especially Frogalina. And that night, when the dark creeped in, and all the ghosts and goblins creeped out to trick or treat, Boom. Princess <laughs> Frogalina leaped out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Eek! Cry Froggy. He was never more scared in his life. He leaped frog over his mother. He leaped frog over his father. He leaped frog over his friend Max and flopped up Max's steps. Flop. Flop, splat. He tripped on the porch. And Frogalina fell on top of him. The door flew open. And, uh, oh, there stood the wickedest witch in the world. Trick, trick, trick or treat, squeaked it, Froggy, looking more red in the they stand green. Luckily, Frogalina ran away, and the witch turned out to be Max's granny. And that Halloween, Froggy got tons of candy, but his sword had torn a hole in his candy bag. And by the time he got home, his candy was all gone. Oh no! Cried Froggy. What's the matter? Asked his mother. He showed her his empty bag. Well, you're in luck. Holding up a full bowl. I guess nobody liked it, my treat. And what do you think she gave him? Chocolate-covered flies. Yum! Cried Froggy. My favorite! Lunch, lunch, lunch. If you enjoyed today's story, please hit the like button. Thank you for clicking on size reading time. Please like and subscribe. And make sure to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. That lets you know every time I upload. Thank you.